Hollywood bet Kings Park as the venue for the second semi-final. The home team, Chelsea Sharks, square up against the defending champions, Elling Pumas. Both teams finished third, second, respectively. It is a beautiful evening in Durban. Home team under pressure. September coming around the corner. Can the Sharks hold them off? September is going to go long. No, up to short. And the reach from Slavit is short. Contest and is a turnover. Vincent Chichuka is won it back for the Sharks. There's the try. It got loose again. You asked for a dream start. And who is it? Corne for re. That is first try of the season. The first of the second semi final. It was a clear turnover by the player, and then it was turned over again. Very good defense by the Sharks. Pumas recovers, looking good for Simon Raw. Try for the Pumas. Simon Raw, his first of the season, his fourth in his Curry Cup career. He's keen, fourth Curry Cup try, Simon Raw. Traveling fans of the Pumas celebrating with the team all the way from Nell Sprait. Benta has the bite in it. Oh, same side they'll go. They're looking for the reach. They get it. Kone roll, the try scorer. He's first in his Curry Cup career. Okay, okay, okay. Brilliantly done by this the youngster. That's not gone. Chance for the shots. Costa the interception! Oh. Andrew got it. Real opportunity. Second try of the season. Debut season of the Curry Cup for Andrew Cotter. Advantage was over. Pumas in front. Seven points the difference. As Chachuka joins in, looking for try number two. The momentum is with the home side. The try is scored. Second try for the home team. Meambata it is. Try number seven. For the 23 year old Fez and Butter. Pumas are scrambling. Pumas are taking up space. Nowhere through for the Sharks. Oh, good dipping pass. Talyard defensively reads it. Puts pressure on the ball. On the And Bradley Davids, rightly so, just calming things down again. I want to check that because I've got clear blood on a player. Head contact. There's trouble here. I know this player got injured as well in the tackle, but we do have foul play because we've got two guys upright. We do have a high level of danger. What we do see is there's a sudden change uh, of direction, which takes it down from a yellow to uh, from a red card to a yellow card. The responsibility is on the tackler to get the technique right, to get himself yeah. lower. Chance for the Sharks to go in the lead for the very first time. Cronier, he strikes it, flags are up, and it's taken the home team 47 minutes to get ahead by a single point against the Pumas. Play nice. There was a no-head collision in that one as Hank Offent is tackled. There's the turnover. Um, Kuhn has knocked it on. No. The call is uh, holding on to Tugum Kuhnu. Could be trouble coming up for Henko Fenter. As passive, I don't see him going through with the tackle, which for me is with the guys who go down from a red card to a yellow card. Hear what he's saying, the ref. Okay. Sanction is there, yellow card. Big debate out there. Should it be red? Could have been red in other matches. Feed is good, and the front brought down by Slavic. Now oh, they've got depth on that, looks good. They've got plenty dip. Once now. Same move. There's the support coming through now for Fanique at the Puma. Can they get it down? Looks good. Oh, go upstairs to the Chima. Looks good though. Try time for the Puma. It's the very first points in the second half. For the man from Nels Breit. They're back in front.
David, not too sure about this play. The difference is that it's outside the 22. No realistic chance for Talia to catch the ball. Player. Big question, who's playing who in the air here? Yeah? How the player lands, we have established that there is foul play. The player moves into the area where the ball's going to land, he's not contesting, and the player lands on his head. Down to 14 men, the Sharks trail by six. Red card, dangerous play. Is that the decider? Similar finish we had when the two sides played, and now straight. At the death, the shots came so, through. Quarter tracking back. Sneeman makes a hit. Joan is Sneeman's tackle. There was a number of them. It is the defensive effort of the Pumas that takes them through to their second Curry Cup final. Wow. Against all odds, finished third with 40 points compared to the Celsius Sharks, 48. What a way, what a way to make it into the final of the Curry Cup. Full-time score in Durban, second semi-final. It is the Pumas will join the Cheetahs next week in the final. Final score, 26 points to 20. Pumas, we're good.